Hello everyone. For for in my previous two two videos, I have described two theories for black and white and black pieces. For for the black for white pieces, I have uh, described the real opus, which is e e three e four knight to f three knight to c six and bishop to b b bishop to b five. This was the one one chess theory for the white pieces and for the for the for the black pieces i have also explained about the mighty sicilian defense where where black can get a lot of uh, lo lot of development in uh, where, where black can just cramp up the white pieces in for my this video i am going to de describe the sec uh, uh, chess theory for the white pieces which is the queen's gambit queen's gambit is one of the oldest known chess opening it, it was mentioned in in the gotten's manuscripts in 1490 and, and and was later analyzed by the masters such as greco in in 17th century in in 18th century it, it, it was recommended by philip stamner and is, is sometimes known as the epos gambit in his order during the early period of the more modern chess the queen's pawn opening war was not in fashion and, and the queen's gambit uh, did not become a co common until 18, 1873 tournament in vienna the queen's gambit chess opening starts with the following move order white is go going to respond with d4 d d5 and c4 so this setup here is known as uh, the queen's gambit where where uh, where white is just off offering black this pawn c this c4 pawn as the william steinish steins and and cyber tarash the two grandmasters have have increased uh, have, have developed a chess theory and increased the appreciation of the positional play the queen's gambit grew up more popular and, and reached the zenith in its 1920 and 1930 and was played in plain played in all but two of the 34 games in the 1927 world chess championship match between the capablanca jose ro capablanca and alexander alkilin after the resumption of the international chess activity following the second world war it was less frequently seen as many black player move away from the symmetrical opening trending to use the indian's defense to combat the queen's pawn opening although queen's gambit is still frequently played and, and remained the important part of many grandmasters opening repertories so let us discuss the overview of this chess theory again so so white is going to open with d4 black is going to respond with d5 and c4 here here black is just threatening to capture this central black central pawn pawn at, at, at d5 for, for his uh, wing pawn c4 and dominate the center with e2 and e4 this is not a true gam gambit as black cannot uh, hold the pawn Le for, for, for example le let us like uh, black is going to respond with c captures on d, d captures on c4 e3 and b5 here black is trying to ho hold this c4 pawn but it, it cannot be happen again as as white is going to respond with a4 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 c6 black is going to respond with c6 then uh, then why white is simply going to capture this pawn at b5 then again you have to capture this pawn at c c captures on uh, C, c captures on bb5 in in order to protect your pawn at c4 but here simply black black is going to win the piece by queen to queen to f3 where queen is going to target this rook simply we winning a piece because here you cannot defend this rook anyhow so this this queen's gambit you cannot uh, accept this queen queen's gambit thus you will end up lo losing losing up the exchange sorry lo losing up a piece 
so the uh, so the queen's gambit is divided into two two major parts uh, de depending on the the black's response like first is uh, whether he is going to ac ac accept this uh, c4 pawn or he is going to decline this pawn like uh, like if black is going to capture this c4 pawn or he is ju just going to continue development like queen's gambit decline in queen's gambit accepted black is going to capture this d d4 pawn c4 pawn at uh, d captures on c4 temporarily giving up the central to obtain the free development in in queen in queen's gambit accepted he is just going to he is just going to hold this d5 pawn and frequently black will cramp up but the blank black aim aim to exchange the pieces and use the pawn break at c5 c5 and e5 to free free their game de de depending on black what black plays at this position after play playing this c5 move we have we have the 10 variation of clean queen's gambit the queen's gambit de de depending on what what black plays like uh, the, there is queen gambit decline queen's gambit accepted slav defense al albin albin's counter gambit chigorin's defense then baltic defense symmetric defense martial defense and alkaline's idol defense so now we, we are going to check all the all the ten, ten variation dip, uh, of queen's gambit where did you, where black is going to respond so first is queen's gambit decline so here black is going to simply re respond with e4 e, e6 so de defending this e4 pawn sorry d, d5 pawn this is queen's gambit decline so second will be queen's gambit accepted will be black is going to just capture this pawn sorry not that way this way black is going to capture this pawn at uh, at at c4 this variation is known as queen's gambit accepted let us see the third variation the in, for the th third variation is, is the slav defense where 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 black is going to re, uh, respond with c6 next one is the albin's counter gambit which is which which came from e5 black is going to risk, uh, counter attack this by by attacking the the e3 sorry d4 pawn this this is known known as the alfin's counter gambit after this the other uh, is the chigrorian defense where where black is going to respond with knight to c6 here like for this uh, he is going to attack the white uh, white c d4 pawn this is the chigrin's defense and the other one is the baltic defense the baltic defense where black is going to respond with bishop to f5 bishop to f5 yeah and uh, after this we have the symmetric variation where black is going to respond with c5 here this is the c5 symmetric this is the eighth way variation where black can respond and then we have after this we have the martial de defense which is knight to f6 this is the martial defense where where the uh, white is threatening to capture this pawn with it and 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 black is counter response with knight captures on d5 this is the ninth variation of the queen's gambit depending on the uh, black's response and the tenth one the tenth and the last one is the alkanine's idol which is g6 so here black just is simply gives up this pawn like it it, it it will depend on white what is going to play like he can capture this pawn he can push this pawn further depending on this so yeah then this is all the theory about this is all the titan variation of black thank you all for watching this video regarding queen's uh, queen's gambit hope hope you all enjoy this video stay healthy and stay happy thank you